So let's just go back to the budget part. Um, did you actually hire a line producer to do the budget, but based on your experience, did you sort of just work it out yourself how you were going to manage the budget? Can you just tell us about that? Yeah. I did do a budget and schedule um, as part of the micro school process. And as we started to gear up towards filming and got the green light to go ahead and all the finance was raised, we brought in a, a wonderful line producer called Andrew Hardwick. Um, Andy had worked on the previous microwave film called Mum and Dad. Mm. And we interviewed a, f a few people, um, but Andy really impressed us because he had done a microwave film before. He's very enthusiastic and he talked about a lot of the work practices that we need to adopt very much so for freestyle in terms of eco being economical and um, running the, the shoot in terms of uh, edit suites and had lots of really good ideas about how we could achieve it. Because I think with our film, we, we had a lot of pressures in that we had a big cast. We had um, something like, you know, 16 locations, um, you know, often on using one location more than once, but we had lots of moves and so, we were really up against it in terms of, you know, bringing the film together for £100,000. So it's great to have somebody who had the microwave experience already. Um, and, you know, Andy was just great to work with. We had a crew of 52. Not every day. Some days we had two cameras, some days one. Um, but we had a crew of 52 altogether. That's a re really big number. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think London's Brighton crew was something like 23, something. And they had like a lot of locations, but that's a lot of people yeah. to yeah. to deal with on that budget. Yeah. They weren't all there every day. No. Some people were there sort of one or a couple of days, but in all there were um, fifty two sort of true credits on the film. And was that because uh, do you? I don't know. I mean, after twenty three people, what were the what were the other people doing? We had um, our, our art department was quite large. We had a lot of um, locations to dress. Um, you know, sometimes we'd be doing two or three, four locations a day. Um, although 52, 52 to me feels economical with what we had to do and the production values we were trying to achieve. At one day when we had over 100 extras, this is towards the end of the film when we were shooting the competition scenes. And so we really needed, you know, a good location team and we needed, you know, to extend our number of um, ADs on that day to make sure everyone was safe and the crowd was managed properly. On that day we had a crane, um, we had um, people operating uh, that crane. Um, so you know, we, we only used what we needed. Um, yeah. And I think, you know, a film like that would have probably had three or four times um, the crew normally.